Table of Contents about 9 sections. 1. Understanding Semen, A Closer Look. 2. The Journey of Semen, What Happens When Swallowed. 3. Debunking Myths, Can Swallowing Semen Cause Pregnancy? 4. All About Allergies, Seminal Plasma Hypersensitivity. 5. The Risks of STIs, Protecting Yourself and Your Partner. 6. Safe Sex Practices, Barriers for Oral Sex. 7. The Importance of Testing, Knowing Your Status. 8. Open communication, the key to a healthy sex life. 9. Conclusion, making informed choices, written by Debbie Herbenick. Section 1. Understanding semen, a closer look. Semen is a fluid produced by the male reproductive system. It plays a crucial role in human reproduction and is often misunderstood. The production of semen involves several organs, including the testes, seminal vesicles, and prostate gland. Each of these organs contributes different components to the semen, making it a complex and fascinating substance. Many people wonder what it's made of and what it does. Semen is not just a simple fluid it is a mixture of various substances that work together to support the sperm cells. Understanding its composition can provide insights into male fertility and overall reproductive health. It's mostly water, which helps the sperm travel. The water content in semen acts as a medium that allows sperm to move efficiently through the male and female reproductive tracts. This fluidity is essential for the sperm to reach and fertilize the egg. It also contains proteins and nutrients. These proteins and nutrients provide energy and protection to the sperm cells, ensuring they remain viable and capable of fertilization. The presence of enzymes in semen also helps to break down the cervical mucus facilitating the sperm's journey towards the egg. The sperm are tiny cells that can fertilize an egg which can lead to pregnancy. Each ejaculation can contain millions of sperm, but only one is needed to fertilize an egg. This process is a remarkable example of nature's efficiency and precision. However, this only happens if sperm reach the female reproductive organs. The journey of the sperm is fraught with challenges, and only the strongest and most modal sperm will make it to the egg. This natural selection process ensures that the healthiest sperm have the best chance of fertilizing the egg. Semen is released during ejaculation, usually during sexual activity. Ejaculation is a complex reflex involving the nervous system and various muscles. It is a critical part of the reproductive process, delivering sperm to the female reproductive tract. It's important to understand that semen is different from urine, which is waste fluid from the body. While both fluids are expelled through the urethra, they serve entirely different purposes. Semen is involved in reproduction, whereas urine is a means of excreting waste products from the body. They come from different parts of the body and have different purposes. The reproductive and urinary systems, although closely linked anatomically, have distinct functions. Understanding these differences is key to comprehending male reproductive health and the role of semen in the process. Section 2. The Journey of Semen what happens when swallowed? Many people are curious about what happens when semen is swallowed. It's a common question that often sparks curiosity and even a bit of humor among friends. But beyond the jokes, there's genuine interest in understanding the biological process. Basically, it goes through the same process as any other food or drink. When you consume something, whether it's a meal, a beverage, or semen, your body follows a well-orchestrated sequence to digest and process it. When you swallow semen, it travels down your esophagus and into your stomach. The esophagus is a muscular tube that connects your throat to your stomach, and it uses rhythmic contractions to push the contents down. Your stomach contains strong acids and enzymes that break down food. These gastric juices are incredibly potent, designed to break down complex molecules into simpler forms that your body can absorb. These acids and enzymes break down the components of semen just like they break down other foods. Semen is primarily composed of water, proteins, sugars, and various other nutrients, all of which are susceptible to the digestive process. From the stomach, the broken down components move into the small intestine. The small intestine is a long, coiled tube where most of the digestion and absorption of nutrients occurs. This is where nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream. The walls of the small intestine are lined with tiny, finger-like projections called villi, which increase the surface area for absorption. Any remaining waste products continue to the large intestine and are eventually eliminated from the body, just like any other food. The large intestine absorbs water and salts from the material that has not been digested as food and is responsible for the formation of solid waste. So, in summary, when semen is swallowed, it undergoes the same digestive journey as any other substance you consume. 
it is broken down by stomach acids absorbed in the intestines and any waste is expelled from the body. Understanding this process can demystify the experience and provide a clearer picture of how our bodies handle different substances. 3. Debunking Myths Can swallowing semen cause pregnancy? There's a common myth that swallowing semen can cause pregnancy. This is completely untrue. Pregnancy can only happen when sperm reach the female reproductive organs, specifically the vagina and fallopian tubes. The digestive system and the reproductive system are completely separate. When you swallow semen, it goes into your stomach and intestines, not your reproductive organs. So, rest assured that swallowing semen cannot lead to pregnancy. It's simply a matter of understanding how the body works. Section 4, all about allergies, seminal plasma hypersensitivity. In this section, we will delve into a lesser known but important topic that affects a small percentage of the population. While swallowing semen is generally safe, some people can have allergies. These allergies can manifest in various ways and it's crucial to understand the symptoms and causes. It's not very common, but it's good to be aware of. Seminal plasma hypersensitivity, or HSP, is one such condition that can cause significant discomfort and concern for those affected. This allergy is called seminal plasma hypersensitivity, or HSP. It occurs when the body's immune system reacts negatively to proteins found in semen. HSP happens when the body's immune system overreacts to proteins in semen. This overreaction can trigger a range of symptoms, similar to other allergic reactions. It's like any other allergy, where the body mistakes something harmless as a threat. The immune system then releases chemicals to combat the perceived threat, leading to allergic symptoms. Symptoms of HSP can vary but they often involve itching, swelling, and redness. In some cases, more severe reactions can occur, such as difficulty breathing or anaphylaxis. If you experience any unusual symptoms after contact with semen, it's essential to talk to a doctor. Early diagnosis and treatment can help manage the condition effectively. They can help determine if it's HSP or something else. Treatment options may include antihistamines, corticosteroids, or even immunotherapy in severe cases. Understanding HSP is crucial for those affected and their partners. Open communication and medical guidance can significantly improve quality of life. Support from partners and healthcare professionals can make a big difference. If you suspect you have HSP, don't hesitate to seek help and explore treatment options. With the right approach, managing seminal plasma hypersensitivity is possible. Stay informed, stay proactive, and prioritize your health and well-being. Section 5. The Risks of STIs Protecting Yourself and Your Partner one important thing to remember is that semen can carry sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. STIs are infections that can be passed from one person to another through sexual contact, including oral sex. Some common STIs include chlamydia, gonorrhea, and HIV. These infections can have serious health consequences if left untreated. It's essential to practice safe sex to reduce the risk of STIs. Protecting yourself and your partner's health is crucial. Remember, even if someone doesn't have visible symptoms, they can still carry and transmit STIs. Section 6 Safe Sex Practices – Barriers for Oral Sex Practicing safe sex is essential for protecting yourself and your partner from STIs. When it comes to oral sex there are specific barriers you can use. Condoms are the most well-known barrier method, they create a physical barrier that prevents bodily fluids from being exchanged during sex. For oral sex on a penis, using a condom is the safest way to prevent STIs. Dental dams are thin, square-shaped pieces of latex or polyurethane. They are placed over the vulva or anus during oral sex to create a barrier. Section 7. The Importance of Testing Knowing Your Status Getting tested for STIs is one of the most responsible things you can do for your sexual health and the health of your partners. Many STIs don't always have noticeable symptoms, meaning you can have one and not even know it. This is why regular testing is so crucial. Talk to your doctor or visit a sexual health clinic to get tested. They can advise you on which tests are appropriate based on your sexual history. Remember knowledge is power when it comes to your sexual health. Section 8. Open Communication – The Key to a Healthy Sex Life Open and honest communication is essential for any healthy sexual relationship. Talk to your partner about your boundaries, desires, and concerns. Discuss safe sex practices, including getting tested for STIs. Feeling comfortable discussing these topics can make a big difference. Remember, consent and respect are paramount. 
engage in sexual activities that both you and your partner feel good about. Section 9. Conclusion, Making Informed Choices. Understanding the facts about semen, safe sex practices, and the importance of communication empowers you to make informed decisions about your sexual health. Remember, swallowing semen is a personal choice. What matters most is that it's a choice made with consent, knowledge, and a focus on safety and well-being. If you have any concerns or questions, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional or a trusted sexual health resource. Your health and well-being are important.